Hi, my name is Tim Sasserchi. I'm Product Manager of AS Interface at Pepper and Fuchs. Today I want to talk to you about how to set your network interface settings for Ethernet on this ASI Ethernet IP gateway. If you recall last week, we made a video on how to build an AS Interface network. We had a simple five node network with the G12 I.O. module, a G11 module with the M12 and the G10 splitter, a G10 intelligent module with the pigtails, the G11 analog module, and the e-stop. If you remember, you can put safety and standard all on one network. Also, we have the AS interface power supply and the auxiliary power supply. Two additional components I'm going to add today. The one is the Allen Bradley PLC, because we'll be using that after we set the IP address. It's an L32E, Compact Logics. I'm going to plug that in Ethernet port here, and then I'm going to use one of my two Ethernet ports on my gateway. Remember, this is a three port switch, so we can basically use just these three components with no external switch required. And then the other component is my PC, which I'm going to plug into the other port. All right. Now all we have to do is set the IP address on the gateway. Okay, now I want to show you how to configure the IP address and the network settings directly in the AS interface gateway. So the first thing I want to do is enter the menu by hitting OK. Go into Ethernet, because that's what I want to configure. You get two protocol options, Ethernet IP and Modbus TCP. Alan Bradley uses Ethernet IP, so that's the one I want to choose. Scroll down to activate that protocol, choose yes. And now I want to go into TCP IP object to configure the network settings. Before I do that, I want to make sure that I disable DHCP. This is very important. So I go into IF control, arrow down to use DHCP, and then click OK. It'll change the setting to use stored value. So any IP address, subnet masking gateway that I put in the gateway will now be stored permanently. Hit escape. It'll tell me that the settings will only take effect on power up, which is fine. So now I want to scroll down two more times to TCP IP config to enter my network settings. Okay, so my IP address is going to be 172.18.30.70. Okay, after that's in there, I want to scroll down to the subnet mask, put that in. I'm just going to use 255.255.0.0. Typically, the subnet mask is the same for all devices on your network. Okay. Now the gateway I'm not going to worry about, I'm not going to configure because this is only required if you have a router on your network. So I'm going to back everything out. And now I'm going to go ahead and cycle power because it will only take effect on power cycle. And I can go back in and double check. You can see that my Ethernet IP is configured because I have a little X there. Go back into TCP IP object, scroll down to TCP IP config, and indeed the IP address is 172.18.30.70. That's it. So now that my gateway for AS interface has been configured with the proper network settings, I want to reconfigure my PC to talk to it, and then check out a few things just to make sure all the devices are talking together. So I'm going to go to Start, Settings, network connections. I'm going to double click on local area connection, go to properties, scroll all the way to the bottom and go to internet protocol TCP IP and uh, normally because I'm in the office it says obtain IP address automatically I want to change it to a fixed IP so I'm going to choose 172.18.30.15 would be fine and uh, the same subnet mask as my gateway is great Choose OK. Give it a second to reconfigure the 
network in my PC. Choose close. Now I want to go into my start run and go to the command prompt by typing CMD. Now I want to ping the gateway just to make sure that it's talking properly. Great, it says reply from. I can also ping the PLC from Alan Bradley, which is uh, .9. Okay, that looks good also. And I can do an IP config just to double check my IP address. 1830.15, perfect. So, close that out. Close this out. I want to go into um, my web browser so I can double check the, uh, the gateway. It has a web online web interface tool. So I'm going to go to first thing I want to do is go to tools and options and disable a proxy if it's on. This is pretty important. Okay, this says no proxy. I'm good. Usually if, if you're in the office you'll have that enabled. And you just type in the IP address directly in the web browser and you'll see program pop up. It says warning outputs may be modified. Choose OK. Alright, I want to change it to English first and then I'm going to log in which is just four zeros in case I want to make any changes. First thing I like to do is go to expert mode and I choose circuit one devices. This will allow me to double check any of the devices on the network. You can see I've got 1A, 2A and address 10 is my e-stop. Address 31 is my analog node, and then address 1B I have on as well. Okay, so my five devices. You can also go to the circuit one graphical if you want and uh, l put these in a certain order on the network. They will stay there. I, uh, then I like to go to circuit one diagnostics and reset the error counters and let it run for 10, 20 minutes and make sure that the error counters remain at zero. That means I got a nice stable network, no problems and everything looks good and um, that should be all we have to do uh, thanks for watching this video about AS Interface for more information see our YouTube channel